Um, today is Sunday. Normally, I wouldn't be here on Sunday right now. I'd be out at a flea market making money, selling stuff. But uh, in case you didn't know, the coronavirus is uh, like ruining all the fun stuff that people like to do. Um, no Meadowlands Flea Market on Saturday, no JC Market Saturday or Sunday, um, no Meadowlands next week, possibly the week after, no GC, no JC Flea Market next weekend and the weekend after for sure. The only thing that's open right now, if you really love flea markets, uh, Columbus, Farmer's Market, and, um, I think Lamberville, you know, I don't know about Collingswood, but I, I know Columbus for sure. Anyway, I might as well show what I got today. Um, we spent $35 on this. And if you want to throw in what we paid for tolls to get to the sale, which was in Livingston, we paid $40 in total. I guess I'll just go through. I paid $15 for, the, for this game stuff. Um, and I remembered a Game Boy fun story that I'll tell right after I do this. Um, what I got for my um, 15 was I got this Game Boy Pocket. It's pretty good shape. A little scratch on the glass in the front. Otherwise, uh, relatively clean. Even the Game Boy camera itself looks nice. Um, label a little bit worn, but, you know, hey, come on. What's the big deal? That happens. Um, I took the batteries out of this because this didn't power on. It takes six batteries, which, I, in my opinion, is a ridiculous amount of batteries. But for such a small device, you know. But it does take six batteries. And I don't have a power adapter for it. And I do not have the cable to connect, so I won't really be able to test it other than, than to um, power it on. Oh, actually, do I have it? It was on. Oh, that's probably why it was dead, because in the on, I flicked it to the off when I took it. Um, one good thing is when I took the batteries out, it was nice and clean. Yeah. You know, I don't see any corrosion. That's the first thing I worried about. Uh, but as of this particular second in time, I have no clue if that thing works. Um, but it is. It's really nice and clean. It looks almost like it just came out of the box. Uh, here's my quick, fun Game Boy camera story that I promised you guys. Um, many years back, I bought a Game Boy uh, Pocket, and it came with a Game Boy camera. My Game Boy cameras at that time weren't selling for very much, and my daughter showed interest in it. She was like, ooh. Can I have that? And I said, yeah, sure, why not? You know, you're my kid, and I just give you stuff. Whatever. That's normal. So I said, here you go. Uh, take it, right? And I didn't even look at it, right? So my daughter's going through it, and uh, what she finds is that the previous owner, which was a little boy, had, well, used the camera to take pictures. Uh, guess what one of the pictures was? I'll tell you. Uh, the kid took a picture of, like, he mooned the camera. So it was kind of like a butt picture. So I was like, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm not going to be selling this unless I delete it. And I, uh, and I wasn't going to sell it anyway. And I asked my daughter, I said, uh, what do you want to do with this? You know, um, she says, I'm going to leave the picture on because it's funny. My, my daughter, even at that age, appreciated things that were uh, kind of ridiculous. But can you imagine getting something like this? And it wasn't a good picture. I mean, it's like 8-bit. <laughs> it was just really dumb. But uh, it just shows you. Even back in the 80s, kids were dumb and they did stupid crap. All right. Uh, maybe this is the 90s. All right. Uh, 35 is what was actually spent on what you see before us. Uh, I spent 15. That was a pretty good deal. And Marie, and to be honest, I have no clue if any of this works. This could all be for parts. I don't know. All right. So let me go through what Marie got. Um, 20 bucks. It was the last day of the sale, the last hours of the sale. So they, everything was like half price or, or less. They were, they were just like, just make a pile. Uh, she got this nice little match safe. It's, it's uh, most likely silver plate. Uh, there are no other hallmarks to indicate otherwise, but the silver plate is actually really nice. There's a striker on the bottom where you would rub the match to get it going. Uh, but it looks really clean. I don't see any really big dents or like maybe there's a teeny little something there. That's not too bad. Maybe a teeny little something there, you know, but so what? You know, this thing is most likely... I don't know, like 80 years old. It looks like it barely got any use. Um, this is a JJ pen. I don't know what she's going to get for that. In my head, if it's silver plate, it's not going to be on a flea market. So probably 30 and up. I really, I don't know. I haven't had any of these for a long time. I don't know how much people are willing to pay for them. Fortunately, it's not monogrammed, but it's definitely nice and it's in good shape. If it were sterling, it would be over 100 very easily. Being that I can't tell and there's no hallmarks. 
And this isn't really the kind of stuff I find all the time. You know, this stuff just doesn't roll up to you anymore. It's not like everybody's bringing out a box that has 100-year-old jewelry. It just doesn't happen. Um, I don't know exactly what that's worth. I'm just going to say 30 or more. Um, here's a JJ uh, pin. Uh, something like, something Jonette. Jeanette. Jones, Jeanette. That's what the JJ stands for. It needs to be cleaned a little bit. But it is kind of pretty, and it's a nice cross. Uh, this, Marie just gets. She sells these for a few dollars. People like them. Um, this, believe it or not, is like a Coca-Cola pin. I don't know. It's enamel. On the back, it says Coke. And it says Coke something. Right back there. And uh, it's like a two-piece pin. The heart fits right in that groove right there. So when you pin it on, you can wear it. Um, I really like this bracelet. I think it's sterling silver and it has a letter A. I don't know what the A stands for. But it's got a lot of really pretty little rhinestones that are kind of set in. And they are open from the back. So maybe they're like little teeny diamond chips. It's possible. Because people do set... I mean, diamond chips like this don't have a lot of value. Those are obviously marcasite. So, I don't know. It's either crystal or, or whatever. Um, I don't know what the A stands for. If she can figure that out, that'd be helpful. I don't see anything missing. I can't tell because they're so small how this was set in. I mean, it can't be glued in because they have open spots in the back for a light to get through. It's just, when you see something like this, also it has the safety cat, catch. That's a really good sign. You know, that's, that's jewelry that's well built, uh, built to last, built to not just fall over, off your wrist and be lost forever. Um, two more pieces to go. Uh, let me see. What, I think she'll get like 15 to 20 for this. So let's say like 45. This, I don't know, 5 to 10. I'll just say 5, 50, 5, 55. This, unless it's something special, probably like 35. So what I say? Uh, 55, 80. Um, this, I'll probably get 70 bucks or so for that stuff. So 80, that's 150. Um, uh, this is pretty. This is like an adventuring, and I believe that's it's sterling. It's, uh, came with free hair, free DNA, as I like to say. Um, but I, I believe it's Hallmark Sterling. I just didn't feel like looking really hard and showing you more of the, the, the hair that came with it. But it's just pretty little adventuring um, beads set in a, a gold-plated silver uh, necklace. So verme, as I say. Um, this is the last thing she got. Uh, Marie said she found a Sterling mark somewhere. It must be really small. Hmm... It was like my neighbor smoking some marijuana. She said she found a sterling mark there somewhere. Here's uh, they're basically freshwater pearls and uh, crystals. This this is freshwater pearls. I don't know. Maybe maybe these are just beads. You know, I don't know if these are pearls. Could be. Like here, let me just show that one bead. Freshwater pearls are no big deal though. It doesn't. They're not worth. There you go. So that doesn't look like glass. Um. What do I think? Uh, what did I think she'll get for this? Like, oh, it was up to 150. So say like 30 bucks, at least, and say like I'll just say 30. I'll say 20, just to keep it cheap. So we we'll make it like a solid uh, potential 200 dollars worth of profit from our uh, 40 dollar investment, which is fair. That's kind of like a five. Oh wow, that's out of focus. Which is kind of like a five times your money thing. Hey, where am I going to be? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be anywhere for the next week or, 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 so, or two or whatever. I might go to Columbus on a Sunday for the hell of it if they don't shut her down. Um, we shall see. Meanwhile, uh, look, I made a set in my field. You know what? Let me go show that set. I'll show you how I, I take pictures outside while I'm at it. Um, walk over. All right. Uh, say you want to take really nice pictures and it's a beautiful sunny day. One thing you can do is you can make a set very similar to what I have. These are dollar store papers, right? What I did was I took one of the um, uh, cardboards. What I did was I took one of them, kind of creased it, and then put a brick to there so it's, it's a fill card. And a fill card is good for getting rid of some of the shadows that you get from uh, a bright source of light like the sun. 
Um, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to, I mean, I'll, I'll turn the camera vertically so I can get closer. And actually, I just use my phone, so you don't even need a fancy camera. But it's as simple as this. I just uh, put it here, uh, a white card background, and you could prop it up behind to make a suite with anything. I decided to use this uh, toolbox. And uh, so there you go, uh, instant photography set that where the pictures, will, the color will look really nice. The, the light is super, super bright. Um, a decent little amount of fill on the side, and you're ready to take pictures for eBay. Anyway, you know what, let me get to work. That's what I'm gonna do now. Um, like I said, if, I don't know where I'm gonna be, but if you need to contact me, me just message me through YouTube or whatever. Oh, also I started a Facebook group, um, a new one. My secondhand Daisy pickups page is going slow. I'm really not messing with it. But I thought I started one I thought would be of general interest to people who like contemporary signed art glass, which is one of the things I collect. Uh, so right now there's only a picture on it. If you feel like joining it, I'll pour, I should put a link in this video description. Uh, so check that. And you can join. And if you have any interest in it, you can post pictures. I'm right now making it open to everybody in the world. All right, anyway, I am out of here. Uh, goodbye.